Hello, it's me again. I haven't changed all week. <laughs> it's part of a social distancing. I'm kidding. I'm filming like multiple episodes in one night so that you guys have enough schooling for your week. But I think this is the last one I'm going to do because my phone's going to go dead. Anyway, good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. Our day is beginning. There's so much to do. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning to you. The next shape that we are going to talk about on this wonderful Thursday morning is bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. What shape is that on the activity objects tub? What is it? <gasps> Did you say rectangle? Yes, it is rectangle. These tubs are so much fun. Let's open them up and let's see what's inside. Let's talk about the shape of rectangle. I already know that lid's go. Oh, gosh. The, the, the lid happens to be that shape, shape of a rectangle. A rectangle, I'm going to set it right there, is a little bit different from a square. Because with a rectangle, we have one, two long sides. Let's look, look at our lid here. Are two long sides and two two short sides. Let's look at our lid. One, two, two short sides. So we have four angles. One, two, three, four. But our sides are different because there's two long sides and two short sides. Let's see what's inside our tub. For sale. Look at that. A rectangular for sale sign. How about that? It has our two long sides. And our two short sides for sale. How about that? What color is the sign? What color do you see? Red and white, like a community sign. F O R S A L E for sale. I should have filmed this long ways like that so we could see the rectangle. But if I change it to this point, it's going to mess everybody up. So I'm not going to do that. Next, I'll just film farther. Next, we have a scrubbing brush. This is kind of rough. What color is that? Did you say green? You are correct if you said green. Our two long sides, our two short sides, and our four angles. Ooh, look at this bumpy little thing. You are supposed to work in the garden on, on this and use your knees to lean on it. Let's, let's try that. Ah, I'm gonna work out in the garden right now because it's night and it's dark. Just like that. It makes it comfortable for resting your knees. Say knee, a knee rester. It has its two long sides, its two short sides, rectangular handle for easy grasping. Ta da! There you go. It's kind of bumpy. The texture is really bumpy. If we were in class right now, we would be feeling that, but. You have to go to the store and buy one, and then, then you'll know. 
Look at this. What is this? A thermometer. A rectangular thermometer. It measures in Celsius and Fahrenheit. Many countries check their weather temperature in Celsius, which goes from negative 30, negative 20, negative 10, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And each one of these, holding the thermometer in there, each one of these is a, a single number. So we'll start at zero. Each line is a single number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, yeah. this is the Fahrenheit side. We have negative 20, zero, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. Ooh, what do you notice about this thermometer? Which side has numbers that go way, way higher? Over here with Celsius, which goes up to, check out that number right there. Oh, over here with Fahrenheit, with that number right there. Oh, which side? Our Celsius side goes up to number 50, but our Fahrenheit size goes up to a size. Fahrenheit side goes up to 120 because both ways of measuring temperature are really different. So we have a smaller number at the bottom than we do with the Celsius. I'm probably not, I don't want to get too technical on this, but we can just see that Fahrenheit has higher numbers. Let's check and see if it has the same spaces. No, this, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. On the Celsius side, we count by ones. And on the Fahrenheit size, we have to size this late for me. You guys will be watching during the day, but I'm filming like at 11 o'clock at night here. On the Fahrenheit side, we have to count by twos. How about that? That's why when you have math in school, it's really important to learn to count by ones, count by twos, count by threes, fours, fives. Right now in, in, in our room, we tend to just count by ones, but we have been known to count by higher numbers. Like when we go to the cafeteria to get breakfast in the morning, we'd be counting juices and milks by by twos. All right, let's see what else is in here. Oh, look at this, a rectangular ghost bag. Let me, uh, that is the back. Let's flip it over. Ooh, and that is the front. How many ghosts do you see on a rectangular ghost bag? One, two, three. Three ghosts on our ghost bag and one jack-o'-lantern. We like to we like to celebrate Halloween in school that time of the year. Is it Halloween right now? Well, we better go check our calendar because I think we were just talking about Easter a minute ago, right? Here comes Peter Cottontail, hopping down the bunny trail. I don't think that it's Halloween right now. Oh, look at what's on the wall. A rectangular calendar. Wow. Look at this. 
I wonder if it tells us. Yes, it tells us what it is. These are the Moai statues in Easter Island, Chile. Take a really good look at them. How many statues do we see? Let me back out, take a really good look at this rectangular calendar. Let me see, one, two, three, four. Four statues in Easter Island, Chile on the hillside. Look at the grass. We have that going on right now too. Spring has sprung, so it's not time for Halloween. Spring has sprung. Our hills, if you go outside your yard and look, or maybe just look at some pictures so you're safe and healthy, our beautiful green hills we have going on for spring. But our month is April. Let's peruse all the numbers. Peruse is a fancy word for check. We got Palm Sunday right there. Passover, Good Friday, aha, Easter Sunday, Easter Monday in Canada, that's where I'm from, look at this, Earth Day, so when we think about Mother Nature and recycling, Ramadan begins, Arbor Day, I see nothing about Halloween, Halloween is October 31st, as a matter of fact, 30 days half September, April, June and November, there isn't even a April 31st. April only has 30 days. Our month is April. Our year is 2020. Oh, make sure we have our days of the week going. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Today is Thursday, 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 it is Thursday, April 2nd, no Halloween, no Easter time, bunnies and eggs, 2020, that is our year on our rectangular calendar, let's see what else the kind of shapes we see around in here. Look at that. Look at the look at the blind on the door. The door itself, let me back out a little bit here so you can see. The door is a rectangle and the blind is also rectangle. The blind in the kitchen rectangle. Okay, turn your head sideways. Uh, uh, uh. It is a Rectangle. Look at this. Look at the cabinet. Rectangle. Okay, turn your head sideways again. Look at the near the ceiling in the kitchen. Rectangle. Look at these cabinets. Er, er, turn sideways again. Rectangle. Look at this mat. We'll make it easier to look at. Nice zebra stripes. Rectangle. One, two short sides. Our two long sides with our four angles. Look at the cabinets and the drawers. They are all rectangles. How about that? Look at the microwave. Rectangle. Oh my gosh. Look at the refrigerator with woman still spelled out. Rectangle. Look at what's on the refrigerator. Real estate with Bruce Marshall. Rectangle. Bruce Marshall really likes to talk about real estate. Rectangle. The whole entire calendar, we talked about just the calendar part last time, but if you throw the top in here, rectangle. Oop, I don't want to rip it. I just kind of did. KitchenAid. That is written on a rectangle. The top of the Magic Chef oven, 
Rectangle. The stove. Rectangle. As well as the top right there. Rectangle. Cabinets up here. Rectangle. And look, look, look. Oh, you're going to have to let me turn it back this way. The ceiling lights. Rectangle. Amazing Grace. Rectangles are everywhere we turn in this house. Oh my gosh. Look at the trash can. Rectangle. Look at what's holding up the kitchen table. Rectangle. Wow. Look at this 1960s beautiful stereo that we told you the story of us immigrating to the States. This was a, another, but we got this new in 1967. So this is a classic stereo right here. You don't see a lot of those anymore, except maybe in thrift shops. But what shape is it? Let me turn this way. Rectangle. Wow. Look at this picture. There's a story behind this picture. I don't know that any of you guys are going to remember this who are watching with your kids. We used to have blue chip stamps back in the 1960s. And then uh, blue chip went out of business and we had green stamps till about the mid 70s. These pictures. Rectangle. But also these pictures, we used to save our stamps. They gave, they gave them to us in the grocery stores. So you bought your groceries. They gave you your change and be because you use their store, they would give you originally blue chip stamps and then later green stamps. You went to the stores, the blue chip and the, and the green stamp stores, with all of your stamps that you saved up in books and you got free merchandise. It would be so cool if they did that nowadays. That would be like really cool for all of us. Well, we were, we were economically challenged and we didn't have a lot of money to play around with. So we did blue chip stamps and green stamps. And when I was a little kid, my mother got these beautiful rectangular pictures from our stamp savings. She got a lot of stuff, but uh, those I, re I remember in particular. Look over here. These are Mama Consuela, Sandrea, Mama's stuff, because she's, uh, she's been staying here too. We, we share. These are also rectangles. And if you look at the stereo in its entirety, that means look at the whole thing, not just the center, which we talked about last time, but look at all of it and look at the speakers. Rectangle. One. Two rectangular speakers and the whole unit, the stereo and the speakers, make a rectangle. That is amazing. Look at the shape of the sofa. You know what that is in Canada? Give you a little Canadian lingo. In Canada, you call what is in the States a sofa or a couch, a Chesterfield. That is a Chesterfield. Here, here we call them a couch or a sofa. I tend to use the word sofa. And a love seat. I don't know if a love seat in Canada has a different name or not. I think it's a Chesterfield as well. But what shape are they? I want to hear you say it. What shape? What shape is the love seat and the sofa? Rectangle. Woohoo! Look at the ladder here. Look at that. There's uh, Mama Consuelo's shoes there. Underneath, look at the shape of the steps on this ladder. What shape? Rectangles. One, two. Two rectangles. Look at the shape of each shutter on the shutters. That shape. Rectangle. And this little uh, storage unit, which we don't really have anything in, just stuff on top, mail in a cardboard box. What shape is it? Whole thing as a unit. Rectangle. And the doors? One, two, rectangles. Front door? What shape is the front door? 
Rectangle. Where the male shoots in? Rectangle. And gold at that. That's a doorbell thingy. It doesn't really work anymore. But what shape is it? You know it. Rectangle. They're everywhere in our houses. Everywhere you look, we can find rectangles. You look at the blinds back there? Rectangles. Anyway, let's get back to our box. We got a lot, lot to look at the box. I don't know how much battery life I have left. Let me see if it'll tell me. Ooh, 37%. So if I need to cut this a little short, you'll know why. Ah, let's see what's inside this box. Ooh, little Susie's Zoo. I see the Easter Bunny. I see little Susie. Quack, 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 quack. And a giraffe. This is our front cover. Our back cover with a bear, like a Care Bear. It's not a real Care Bear, but it kind of looks like one. Susie Zoo. We have a title page. It's a coloring book. Let's see. We have a title page. Yes, this is our title page. Little Susie Zoo, coloring and activity book. Because it's been in the rectangular tub, nobody's really co colored in it. But we have some pretty, pretty cool Easter pictures in here. Look at that. You can color many color you want. You don't have to color like what it has on the cover. Hopefully while you're at home, you're able to have some fun and do some coloring in a book like this with some crayons or some paint. That's supposed to, ooh, 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 this one says, draw a line connecting patches, Lula and Witsy with their shadows. Oh, maybe we should do that page. Here they are, Susie. Where is the same shadow as our beautiful Giraffe. I'm going to say that's patches. Is it here? Is it here? Or is it here? Here. What do you think? Does this match this? Hmm. Let's just think about it a minute. I'm thinking. I think so. I think it's a match. Let's look at Susie. Which one matches Susie? If this, open up book. I need a, I need a bookmark. Oh wait, let's tuck it under the box a little. That way we can do some work and learning here and not have the page close on us. If this matches this, and we don't want to worry about that one. We gotta figure out which one, which shadow matches Susie. Shadow, you can see a shadow right now on my phone while I'm filming. That's a shadow, we talk about those in school. Is it this one or is it this one? Cause it's not this one, we eliminated it, matched it with our giraffe up there. Let's look again, here's Susie. Is it this one or is it this one? Hmm, what do you think? I think that is a pretty good match there. So, brings us down to our bunny here. Let's see. If we match this one, and we match this one, we're using what's called a process of elimination. We've matched Susie's shadow. We've matched Giraffe's shadow. Not sure if it's a... Oh, I'm not even calling any of them. Susie, now that I'm actually reading Patches, Lou, and Witsy, I made that Susie. So, tough luck. It's going to be Susie now. <laughs> I'm naming this one Witsy because <laughs> I was never into, into this cartoon. I'm old school. I'm like the Pink Panther and Garfield and Bugs Bunny and Wiley Coyote and the Roadrunner. It's like my favorite right there. So, this bunny rabbit here, which one matches? Ta-da! Because that's the only one that's left, so we have to have a perfect match. In our rectangular coloring book. Scroll through a little bit more. Beautiful coloring pages. 
Look at that. When we get back to school, we need to do us some art, huh? That'll be a lot of fun. This one, you cut it apart, you turn it into a puzzle. I'm not going to do that. I don't want to mess up the coloring book. Ah, lots of fun stuff in there. I'll set it aside. Let's see what else is in our activity tub of Rectangle World. Oh, bloop, 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 bloop. We have wishes for fishes on a rectangular plate. Wishes for fishes on a rectangular plate. Look at that. Here we go. Turn our heads sideways again. Uh, beautiful blue and white rectangular plate with orange and pink and green. We look over here in a little rectangular side. You see a little maroon too. Oh, so beautiful. The front and the back. The back is white. And we have a cookie sheet for cooking, baking. You can make cookies on here. You can make rolls on here. You can uh, make garlic bread on here. There is all sorts of stuff you can use on a rectangular cookie sheet. Just nothing with a lot of sauce or that's going to make a lot of uh, grease because this is not very deep. This is a shallow cooking plate. And if you cook too much, it'll run over the side and mess up the oven when you're baking. What else is in our tub? Oh, it's a fashion doll. It's generic Barbie. Look at that. This is the, this is the Barbie from, from a, a Dollar Tree or 99 cent store. She is just as much fun as regular Barbie at a fraction of the cost. And you always want to get a good deal when you can. She's wearing a lovely green evening gown. Does she have any shoes on? Can't tell. I can't see in there. I don't want to open it up. She's never been open in all these years. So she has her hair, two eyes, one, two ears, a nose, a mouth with her teeth. You can see her teeth inside. One, two arms. There's her torso and under the dress we can't really see it would be her two legs but because she's in an evening gown we can't see him big beautiful heart so barbie in a rectangular box bye bye generic barbie Let's see what else is in here oh a bunch of stuff a rack for holding objects let's put barbie in in our rack and we'll put our rack in our baking tub what else oh they remember the days where we had vcrs and videos look at that 1995 world champs atlanta braves they happened to win the world series that year atlanta braves win it all collector's edition well there's some history right there who won the world series that year atlanta braves win it all 1995 speaking of that please enjoy my shirt right now since we're not in school i've uh, been wearing classic clothing and this was the year 1993 that the toronto blue jays right there blue jays won the World Series. So this is a World Series winning classic shirt that I've had since then. My family sent it down from from uh, Canada. And this is their World Series winning t-shirt. So they won the World Series. If they won this in 1993 and the Atlanta Braves won the World Series in 1995, how many years difference is there between 1993 and 1995? Two. We'd do the math if I had like a whiteboard. I don't have anything like that here. And I don't want to graffiti up the house. So I'll just tell you it's two. Sorry, you're getting, getting cheated out of a little active math there. We would have if we were in school. And again, I probably wouldn't have been wearing this shirt to school. This is so old. Look at this, a rectangular stuffed hot dog. 
you have the bun, you have the lettuce, you have the tomato, and you have the wiener. Hold the pickle, hold the lettuce, special orders don't upset us. All we ask is that you let us serve it your way. Have it your way. Have it your way. Only thing is, that's a Burger King ad, and they serve burgers. And we got a hot dog here, but it still sounded good. Mmm. Ah. Ooh, delicioso. Mmm. I love it. Love hot dogs. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh, a nightlight. Look at that. A rectangular nightlight. Do you think after all these years, this bulb still works? Hmm. Let's see how much battery I have while we stare at this. Where am I at? How much battery? Come on, tell me. Tell me. It's all in secrets. It's not telling me. 32%. Okay. I think I think we'll I think we'll make it. Let me shrink this back up. The video stopped, so I have to I have to merge it, but I've been merging them anyway because this phone only films for 33 minutes, so no biggie. Anyway, we're going to do a scientific experiment. We're going to find out if this old bulb in this nightlight that we know is 10 years old from the other box still works or not so i gotta find an outlet you guys are not allowed to do something like this at home without a grown-up i'm telling you that right now only grown-ups are allowed to plug things into outlets i'm gonna find out if this works ah ha! look at that let's turn out the kitchen light and let's get a better look at that I'd be working. That's so cool. Ooh, look at that. Look at our rectangular nightlight. After all these years, because it's never plugged in, that bulb still works. Amazing. Wow. All right, we'll turn our light back on. We'll take it out. That is so totally cool. Wow. Mm. We'll unplug it. We'll put it over here. A collection of stuff inside. We'll put the light light inside our fish tray. Oh, what else is in here? Bath wipes. I don't know that we have a lot of those in the stores right now. Rectangular bath wipes. And these are real old. I know they're going to be all dried out inside. They are no longer pre-moistened. There are eight old dry towelettes in here that if we ever opened and wanted to use, we'd have to put some water on them first. What else is in here? Ah, a rectangular tub. We have our two long sides, our two short sides, our four rounded angles. Wow, what color is this? What color? If you said orange, you are right. Let's put our Atlanta Braves ancient video inside there. It is inside our tray. Oh, look at this. A rectangular box with hinged lid. The last two times we've had to put something inside and done a little shaking. I think we should continue to do that. We Oh, remember this from the last one? That is our melted candle. It is now a rectangle. I think we were to put this inside. Close the lid. Shake, shake, shake. Do, 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 do. Shake, shake, shake. Do, 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 do. Shake the candle. Shake the candle. Oh, shake, 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 do 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 do. Shake, 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 do 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 do. Shake the candle, shake the candle. Ah, oh, so now we're gonna move the candle, since it's changed shapes, into our rectangle tub from our square tub, and uh, put that over there. Ooh, peekaboo! What's in there? 
a calculator. The easy way to do math when you can't use your phone. Let's see if this even turns on or not. It's solar, but it's been in the dark. Oh, yeah, it's had enough light sitting around these last few minutes. Let's do some math on our rectangular calculator. Let's see. Let's go. One plus one equals. Oh, what number is that? Two. If you said two, you're right. Plus. One, let's add one more, equals three. One plus one plus one is three. Look at that. Well, I'll turn it off because we won't get through our rectangular, rectangular box if we start playing with the calculator so much. If you are interested in that, ask your family for a calculator for Easter so that you can work on your number recognition. You know what we can do though? We should do. We should do a little counting real quick right here in our pile. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we have some funky symbols on the top. That's a square root right there. We don't ever talk about that in class. But these other ones we talk about. Equal sign. So we push to get 1 plus 1 plus 1. Plus sign for addition. Minus sign for subtraction. Multiplication sign for times. Division sign for dividing. The different kinds of math we could do. I never use these up here. Percentage. I don't really ever use that one very often either, or, or the square root. But that's math, math for like middle school, high school, some at upper elementary. Mostly we work with addition, subtraction, occasionally multiplication and division. Occasionally is a fancy word for sometimes. All right, let's see what else, what else is in this tub here. Two, zero. Lyria, Lyria, habon de lavanderia, laundry soap. If you want to scrub your clothes by hand, this is a big rectangular bar of laundry soap. Two long sides, two short sides, and our four angles. Lirio, largo, pequeño. Uno, dos, tres, y cuatro. Let's put that inside with our video. What else is in here? Look at that. An ice tray. The ice tray is rectangular. Look at that. Ooh, and it's the same color as our basket right here. And what color was that? Orange in Espanol, since we've been habla Espanol, naranja. Put mas naranja aquí. Oh, there. What is this? Hey, look at that. A beautiful orange rectangular t shirt. Wow, size medium, medium. A rectangular t-shirt. Wow. If anybody needs a shirt to wear and you're a medium, hit me up. There it is. Look at this. A beautiful dish rag. This one is got strawberries on it. Some flowers. Beautiful leaves. I see blueberries. I think those are cherries. Our fruit filled rectangular dish towel with our two long sides and our two short sides. Put it up there. Oh, look, it's Dora. Hola, hola, senorita Dora. Dora the Explorer. Como esta? Bien, you step? 
yo estoy muy bien también. Oh, muy bueno. Aquí está mi. Oh, it's Dora. And her rectangular lunch bags. Papelas por lunche. Wow. Now when you're done with this video, y'all got to watch Dora on, on YouTube. Let's see what else we got in here. Rectangular potato chip holders. <clears throat> if I can get this open. There we go. Let's see how many are inside. One. Two. Two large potato chip holders. And let's compare here. Three. Four. There are four potato chip holders total. Two are large. And two are small. Four total, all in the shape of a rectangle. Two long sides, two short sides. I'm going to pile them up and place them over there with their bag. What else is in here? Oh, what is this? Oh, this is an iPod case. If you have a really small cell phone or an iPod, they were big 10 years ago. This would be the case to put it in to protect it and to keep it safe. Rectangular? And what color is it? It is white. And it's manuelas. I like that. Oh, we only have a couple things left in here. Look at that. A purple rectangular sponge. Oh, Marado. Oh, I want to grab this. Same color. This is also purple. Look how shiny it is. Wow, this is a notebook. That really sparkles under this light in here. Wah, wah, wah. Slow down, you're moving too fast. You got to make the morning last. Just kicking down. Oh, that one's smooth and boring. Kicking down the cobblestones, looking for fun and feeling groovy. La da 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 da, feeling groovy. Da 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 da, feeling groovy. Simon and Garfunkel, 1967. In case you want to look that up on YouTube, that's the stuff I learned when I was in preschool. Not like Mary had a little lamb and all that. My mother had us listening to 60s music. I can sing you all of that, but I can't sing the kids' stuff as well. There's just a few more things left in there. <gasps> Look! It's another sponge. These are really rough because they're so old. This is the same color, you groovy notebook. I got to move you out of the way. The same color as our rectangular t shirt, our rectangular ice cube tray, and our rectangular. Well, Hold her there. What color is that? If you said naranja or orange, you are absolutely correct. Oh, money, 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 money. This is a, says not legal tender. It is a play dollar. Fake money for us to practice working on school. There is a drawing of President George Washington, who we studied in February, first president of the United States. Look, it says school money, one rectangular dollar, the front and the back, learning resources money. Push it up in here so we can read it. One dollar. When we get back to school, we'll be able to get our cash register out and our play money and play store. That's always a lot of fun. Feliz cumpleaños! <gasps> Who has a birthday coming up? Here's a card for you. Feliz cumpleaños! Pacific Graph 
graphics. I don't know what it says inside. Oh, look at this. Que tengas mucha diversión y te deseo lo mejor en este día tan especial. Oh, it's wishing for you to have a very special birthday in our rectangular birthday card. Look, what color balloons do you see? And how many balloons do you see? One, two, a yellow balloon and a red balloon. He's holding a gift, a blue wrapped gift with red stripes and a big blue bowl. He's wearing a party hat, red and white. Bzzz. And our favorite thing in our room, bzzz, learning bee. It's a learning bee coming to the party. The learning bee's coming to the party. Bzzz. We'll set that rectangular card aside. Oh, this isn't just any tape. This is fright tape. I believe that it says... Caution. I don't want to open it up because it's really long. It's 20 feet. But it is rectangular. Look at that. And very smooth to touch. Oh, there's only one thing left in here. What is it? <gasps> oh. Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh and Tigger too. Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh and Tigger too. An ice pack. You take this, it's kind of squishy because it, it's currently melted. Look at beautiful rectangle. You take one of these, you put it in your freezer, and if you get an owie, you can put this on your owie and it won't... Uh, won't uh, make your owie swell up. Those are very handy to have around the house. Has our two long sides. One, two. Uno, dos. Our two short sides. Uno, dos. One, two. And that is the end of rectangles. This is going to be the last one I film at this time because my battery is too low to do anymore. So let's get to the homework phase of our video. Your job is to move around your house with your ever-loving family and find three rectangular things in your house. Send me a picture, a video of three rectangular things. So let me turn on this light right here. Because I already see one. Look! This box holding these beautiful yellow and orange flowers. Rectangle! Right here. Of the doors to this cabinet. Rectangle! Let's move on into the bedroom. The shape of the nightstand here. Rectangle. How about the big old bed in here? What shape is that? Rectangle. I see two square pillows in the back, but let's focus on this one in the front. What shape is the pillow? Rectangle. What shape is this cabinet right here? Rectangle. What shape is the... This is a lid to a paper shredder. Rectangle. And this big old desk right here. Let me, let me back up. Rectangle. So your job is to find me three objects in your home. Something like this. What shape is that? Rectangle. This paper right here, Sun City Civic Association <laughs> Rules and Regulations. You can't have enough of those, but that's for a grown-up story in the future. Rectangle. New Testament, Psalms and Proverbs. Rectangle. Ruler. Rectangle. Stationary. 
rectangle. That's almost square. So we'll, uh, we'll not talk about that. Find me three objects in your house that are rectangle. And I look forward to pictures and videos of your findings. Bye.